There he is. Yes. Whoa. I'm pulling drag there. They spots fight, man. There he is. Hey, I'm John Cruz. We're here at the Spro Riders Conference on Lake Lanier, Georgia. I broke out the Warlock jig head and the fuse. Gonna catch me some spotted bass. That one was laying over there next to that. Ooh, that Gamagatsu's got him. Laying over there next to that, less of that log. So uh, I think finding some cover they're, they're spawning, getting ready to spawn, finding some shallow, shallow cover that can provide some shade because we've got sun, bluebird skies, you know, water's relatively clear. If we find some more of that stuff, maybe we catch a few more fish. Now this is a completely custom jig head that I designed the Missile Baits Warlock Jig Head. It's designed around a 3 aught Gamakatsu hook. So you got the sticky sharp Gamakatsu hook. You've got a short spring lock on it. A lot of those spring locks are way too long. They don't give your, your bait enough bite in there, but there's a, there's a big gap there between the spring and the hook point, which is what you need to have a good hookup ratio. It's got a very unique uh, head design so that, that that jig head will come right through any kind of cover, uh, brush, comes through some types of grass, uh, comes through uh, real light rock, heavy rock. Um, it's very weedless, very snag resistant, and it comes in three different sizes. We've got the, the eighth ounce, the three sixteenths, and then we've got the quarter ounce. So you got three different sizes. It comes in both green pumpkin and black, whichever size you like. Um, and I have been surprised how much more I fish a heavier shaky head when I'm fishing this Warlock because it comes through cover so well I like going a little bit heavier. You can make more contact with the bottom. I feel like you generate a lot more strikes that way, uh, especially even in clear water. Uh, you're making uh, casts, that bait's falling fast. You're almost getting a reaction strike. Those fish see that bait falling fast and they go after it. Uh, or you can lighten it up, go to the 3 16ths or the 8th, have a slower fall. Maybe that's what they want a little bit more. So it gives you, gives you some different options. Again, Missile Baits Warlock Head works well with any finesse type worm and it works really well with the Fuse 4.4. This bait is a, is a bait that I've been wanting for a long time. It's a shaky head type bait, drop shot type bait, but it's a very different shape than you can, you can find out there. It's got, a, it's a four and a half inch straight type design, but it's got these claws with thin arms on the end. So when that bait comes through the water, you can see these claws just kind of move around, move around, move around very easily. So there's a lot of subtle action to this bait when you just barely move it. A lot of those uh, finesse type worms, in my opinion, are a little too stiff. Uh, they don't have enough action when you're, when you're working your bait down there. This one uh, has a lot of action when you're moving it along. Uh, and a couple other things I did with this bait is that I made the head of it a little bit thicker, of the tail portion, I should say, where, you, where you're gonna rig it. You can rig it on a traditional shaky head. Uh, you can nose hook it with a drop shot. You can Texas rig it. You can put it on a uh, screw lock type jig head, like our Warlock jig head, and, and it matches up real, real good. You don't have to bite the tip of it off. Uh, it's, I don't know why you would take a brand new worm out of a bag and then have to break off the, a portion of it just to rig it. Never made sense to me, so we designed it this way. And then also, the portion where the hook comes through, if you're gonna Texas rig it or put it on a shaky head, the part where the hook comes through is thinner, as you can see, it's thinner, so that the hookups are a lot better then when you have a, a, the thicker portion, it never made sense to me why the thickest portion was where your hook went through. We fixed that, we made it the thinnest portion. So there's the Missile Baits Fuse 4.4. We got a bunch of cool colors, including this one, which is P-Funk Red, it's one of my favorites. So if you're looking for a new bait to show some fish uh, in a finesse presentation, you may want to check out the Missile Baits Fuse 4.4. You know, when you're fishing a, a spinner rod and a shaky head, if it's a shaky head or, or any type of bait, you can make pretty accurate casts with that spinner rod if you learn how to feather the line as it's getting closer to the water and you can slow that bait down just like a bait caster. So as I'm throwing it over there, 
I'm bringing my off hand up and I'm gonna kind of feather that line and then grab it when I wanna stop it. And uh, I just casted right up next to that pole, right where I wanted to, dropped it right before that cable fell straight down. I've been fishing this Warlock jig head on eight pound Vicious Pro Elite fluorocarbon. I just got hung up a little bit in rocks, had to pull it kind of hard to, uh, to free it up. And it's got a little abrasion on it, so I'm gonna retie real fast. And when I'm, when I'm retying fluorocarbon, I wanna make sure that I get a nice clean stretch, get at least a foot or, or more fresh line. Then I'm gonna come through the, the, the uh, line tie once, go back under, do four wraps through the bottom, through the top. It's called a San Diego jam knot. It's real fast to tie, works really, really well with fluorocarbon. And being that I've tied it a few thousand times, I can tie it pretty quickly, tie it with my eyes closed, and you're back fishing. So I've just made a little move, trying to cover some water, uh, maybe looking for a few bed and fish. I'm just gonna keep, keep moving around, see if I see some bed and fish. Uh, if not, I may hit some of these docks up ahead. Little guy. Whoa. That's a professional release right there. It's hard to, hard to achieve that. That's what happens when the fish does not have enough rump to uh, get the hook in him. There he is. There's two more with him. Yep. Yeah. So there we go. Another spotted bass on the fuse with the Warlock jig head. You know, it's definitely a good numbers bait. Caught a lot of big fish on it. Uh, we're using the eight pound Vicious Pro Elite fluorocarbon. Uh, using a, a Pinnacle Perfecta seven foot two inch uh, DHC five rod, a spinning rod. Uh, medium action with a fast taper. I uh, had a Pinnacle Optimus 40 spinning reel. Caught a bunch of spotted bass. It was a lot of fun.